Hey guys, Kev Collects here, and it's time for another awesome, awesome doll review. So, I am like super, super excited because I'm finally, finally, even after having these dolls for so many days, finally doing a review on the new, oh my god, why do I keep doing stuff like that? On the Mermaids Mermaids, that tongue-tied name, which apparently is supposed to be Merbabes, dolls um so yes i have all four of them got them through walmart um actually i got like all of them through walmart even um my girl harmony here looking stunning and beautiful don't know if you've seen my review but she is a gorgeous gorgeous girl um yeah so managed to get them through walmart and everything um they're on the website i'm pretty sure it's like the only place you can get them at the moment so definitely check them out if you're really interested in the yes. dolls i am so so hype um really i'm like looking at them all I have like all these girls. Right, we got Chanel, we got Kishiko, Riviera, and Miss Jordy. And on top of that, um, I did see that some um, photos went up of our collector doll. Collector doll, which I will put up a photo right here. Yeah. That's not what a collector doll should look like. Hmm. But you know what? We're not gonna get into that. Let's just get into the dolls. So today's review is gonna be on two of the dolls. I'm gonna do reviews in pairs. And the first two dolls I'm gonna do a review on are Chanel and Kishiko. All right, my kind of like girly posh girls. And then the other review is gonna be on Jordi and Riviera who I consider my more like edgy type of like, just like cool kind of girls. So yeah. we're gonna start off with Miss Kishiko here. All right. So we're gonna go look at Kishiko in box. This is what she looks yeah, like. Same kind of window display as uh, the other dolls have. All right, little color changing little thing here. So hers, I guess, says that she color changes in cold water. So yeah, you guys, if you look up top, they all seem to have either this here or one that's like a mixed color, which means warm water or one that has both. So Jordy actually has both. So it does like, she has two different ones depending on which, uh, color, uh, which type of water you put her into. I don't know why she's different than the others, but still pretty cool. You know, they added something like that. On the back of the box, you have the five girls. All right. Same as all the dolls, but then in the corner here, I mean the bottom area, you have like a little like kind of like picture of her face and then a little kind of like bio. And like literally it is a little bio. Um, <laughs> it says Kishiko, trendsetter who loves to glisten. So real cute, real simple. I mean, that was one thing I wish they did a little more with was like the, I don't know, the kind of description with them. I wish they had a little more kind of personality, maybe a little book, little card, something that really described them. I'm hoping the website does something soon to really kind of get you a little more uh, intrigued with these different characters. Okay, okay. So we are back and we have Miss um, Kishiko out of packaging, looking gorgeous, all right? And here she is. Oh my God, so beautiful. I love the pastels on her. She's just giving that kind of like pastel kind of like princess vibe, like very kind of like dreamy, out there, artsy, just like in the clouds type of vibe. Um, and I really, really love that. Like those are honestly my favorite type of characters and things because who doesn't like someone who it's like there, but really not, <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, all right. And on top of that, she comes with her little purse. So let's go over that real quick, all right? So she has this little cloud purse, speaking of just like in the clouds, and has this cute little like kawaii face on it with two eyes, a mouth, even little rosy cheeks, really awesome. And then it has a little silver chain. And then on the back, there is a little kind of zipper kind of uh, detail molded in there. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. And I mean, it's really thin. Like, honestly, this could even have been like a fanny pack, just the way it's like, it's like very, very thin. Like, I mean, I don't, like, girl, you ain't getting much in there. Ain't much. <laughs> but still, really cute and so, so, so adorable. I would love to have like a, like, a life-size version of this bag, right? Uh, you know, hey, mermaids, you know, want to do a little extra stuff. All right. So now getting to the doll herself. All right, so Miss Kishiko, she is just like stunning. Like, look at this face. Uh, 
Oh my god, I am just obsessed. Like her colors are like amazing. I love the whole kind of just like purpley tones they have with the eyes and whatnot with the little kind of star details and stuff. That's very, very pretty. Um, you know, as you can see, all right, this is what I was like mentioning before. So over here, she has like all the little star details and everything, all the little sparkles um, around her eye. All right. Um, and then this side, it's just like a bunch of little white dots. Like, uh, I guess the decal was kind of like messed up and stuff, but I can totally fix that. I don't think it'll be a big issue. Um, I have a little fine tip, uh, whatchamacallit, a little fine tip paintbrush. So, you know, it might take a little time, but nothing that a little elbow grease can't um, fix. But this was the one I preferred, so I just had to, I had to open this one. All right, uh, as you can see, she has inset eyes and her inset eyes are beautiful, like bluish purple, All right? Gives that kind of nice real vibe to them. Her eyebrows are nice deep brown. Um, I do love that, especially because like, I don't know if her eyebrows were like the pink and purple kind of colors, I think it'd be a little too much going on with the face. Um, so the brown really does kind of like bring it back a little bit and make it look a little more natural. Uh, if you guys can see, she also has a bunch of freckles. That was another reason why I chose this doll over the other one that I had, because the freckles on this one were much more pigmented. Like, you can see the freckles everywhere, like on the forehead up there, all over the face here. Like, they really went to town with it. And it's not really coming up on sc screen as much as pigmented as it is, but they are very pigmented, guys. And I love that. All right, her lips are a nice pink color as well. She has a nice little like pucker, which the other one I think had a little bit less of a pucker as well. And the face was a little rounder, so I think it made the lips look a little smaller. So there's a nice kind of balance with that. Um, going to the hair though. So I'm assuming the root they were going with, so she's giving me, okay, so right off the get, she has a different textured hair. It's very like cotton candy. And I mean, even the style and everything gives me hella Miss Royale vibes. So I don't know if maybe someone similar who designed the Elwa Own G's did this doll, but I mean like they have very similar hairstyles. Like, like literally that is basically the same hair, just in two different dolls. Um, I'm actually getting more into the hair though. So I'm assuming that the reason why they did this hairstyle with her is because like it kind of gives a very dreamy kind of like unicorn kind of vibe. I mean, that's just me, but her hair just is giving a very just like unicorn horn. Like, I mean, you see what I'm talking about? And especially with her whole kind of like dreamy aesthetic. I think it just makes a lot of sense. All right. Um, going now to uh, the back of the hair. So she does have the braids. All right. So we have some pieces that are actually put into actual braids and then some that are in bubble braids. And I love how they did that. It makes your hair look very kind of elaborate and funky and different. Like there's so much layering to it that, um, yeah, it's just, it's very, very detailed. And the braids do go around the sides here. All right, so it's like pulled in the front all the way back and just looks so pretty. Like, oh my God, guys. She also gives me a little bit of the vibe of that Barbie extra doll. Um, the one with like the flame denim jacket and stuff. Um, but hey, I mean, it's a good look, so I don't, I don't blame them. All right, um, going down now to her earrings, which are these beautiful like double hoop earrings with these little crystals inside. Like, I love that, and they dangle. Like, I love a nice dangling earring moment. Like, literally, it is like everything on a doll for me. Um, it just adds like such a more realistic type of like sway to them. So that is very, very cute. Okay. Um, going down now to actually the next kind of jewelry accessory she has is this like really gorgeous necklace. Like, I love it. Okay, so basically what it is, it's kind of a open, I don't know what to say, how to, what to call this and everything, but it's kind of like, it's an open necklace in the front and like one side shorter than the other, which I love a nice imbalance moment. It really does kind of play with, um, it, it, I don't know, it just like really kind of just like plays with design and stuff. And one, as you can see that they both have crystals as well that dangle a little bit, not as much as the earrings do necessarily, but it's really cute. It almost gives like a sea glass type of vibe. And I love sea glass. I used to collect that as a kid. So that's very kind of like, it's very fun to see in doll form, and especially that it's a different color and it's a nice like minty green color. Just, oh God, that just looks so pretty. So, so pretty. All right, then going to the top she's wearing, she's wearing this really nice 
strapless i mean it has like two white straps that help keep it in place but it's supposed to be like kind of like a strapless design and it's this beautiful like purple or like i don't know it kind of looks like a mini mini peplum top and i mean like a mini peplum because it does have a little like a little like fabric frill at the bottom um and then woven all throughout is this beautiful like rainbow tinsel which I know some of y'all hate tinsel, but I don't mind tinsel. Like, put it in the hair, put it in the clothes. Like, I love it. Um, especially because the way it works with this is it gives this nice type of, like, scratchy kind of look to the outfit. Um, and it just looks so pretty. Oh, God, she's so adorable. All right, going next to the jacket. So the jacket is an awesome type of, like, I don't know. It's, like, kind of like a clear, sparkly vinyl kind of varsity jacket with poofy sheer sleeves that are like slim at the top and then go out to a poofiness towards the forearm area it is just cool i love this it's cool because it's a nice kind of holographic color as you can uh, holographic little like sheen to it as you can see it really reflects the light and it's cool because the vinyl has like all these little glitter pieces in it that are also a very kind of like holographic color uh have a little color shift so that's very fun all right next thing we're gonna go to is to her cinched waist no but like literally that waist cinched um is going to be her tail so her tail is beautiful like look at this uh, oh my god and i love it their little like unique signature tails are everything for me so very very cool all right we have this nice kind of like shift this gradient going from the pink to like the uh tealish green to the blue to that little bit of purple at the bottom and it's just oh my god it just looks so pretty these dolls are so gorgeous y'all like oh i'm just obsessed and then as you can see you can bend it like that and she stands so very very fun all right so now i'm gonna put her down to the side and let's go over miss chanel shell now i'm trying to think like it's not chanel it's shell now <laughs> you gotta really emphasize on that <laughs> all right so here is miss shell now <laughs> Oh, guys, I'm not going to get over that. Like, Chanel. <laughs> Hello, Chanel. <laughs> oh, my God, I got to stop. All right. So here she is in box. All right. She is also a cold water color shift, which is perfect. Means I don't have to get a bunch of different bowls of water. All right. Here is artwork for her right there. Looking beautiful. Mermaids, mermaids. M. Girls. Description on the box. Chanel. Her little thing says, Chanel, stylist, searching for whatever shines brightest. You go, girl. All right, so looking all cute. All right, so let me get this doll opened and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I have Miss Chanel all free and just out of the packaging. And I just wanna start off by saying, if you guys are gonna be collecting any of these dolls and are really, really thinking of like maybe just one to get or something, I think this doll is probably one of the biggest ones to consider because she, oh my God, she is so beautiful and she has so much detail going on with her. Oh my God. Like, I think she, she might even be like the most accessorized one of the bunch, like for real. Um, but all right, for the grand reveal, pop, yo, like her, okay, so first of all, her hair is so long and flowy like for people that are going to want to play with these in the water you are going to have so much fun with her the only thing is the drying aspect of it is probably gonna be like a uh, beach get it a beach b-e-a-c-h uh -huh. <laughs> she is so freaking gorgeous and this hair is just so oh my god it's so soft and it's just like oh my god it's so flowy it's so pretty it's a beautiful beautiful blue all right um so going I guess I go into the rest of her hair. So as you can see on top of her hair, she has a little bow, which yes, is her hair. All right. Um, it is like heavily, heavily gelled. So, you know, if you're going to play with her in the water, I don't really recommend, well, I don't recommend playing with her in the water if you're going to want to keep the bow because it, it will just come all undone and it's definitely not going to stay once it gets wet. Um, I mean, it might, but it might just like reform like poorly. So I don't, I don't know. 
but I really do love it. I think the bow is a really nice touch. Give me like hella Gaga, like just like early Gaga um, when I was younger. So I'm very, very loving that look. Um, and I mean like, especially with the look she's wearing, it just totally, totally fits. All right, I'm going to the face. Like girl is stunning. Oh my God, like that extra like blue eyeliner up top. Like, oh my God. Um, so she has these beautiful like hazel eyes and I love that for her. These eyes like up close guys are so detailed. Like they're so crazy. Like it's kind of scary. They kind of look very realistic um, because they're very like humanized um, in set eyes. Like, I don't know, I guess because the proportions are very like just like natural human kind of proportions. Like our eyes, I mean, maybe our eyes aren't really that big. No, our eyes might be that, no, our eyes aren't that big. No, our eyes are definitely not big, that big compared to our face. But I mean, they're much more proportioned than say like a rainbow high doll. So it just looks much more realistic. But um, but yeah, as you can see, she has like those beautiful eyes. The makeup is very light, but very, very powerful and prominent. Right, so we have some light blue uh, with a lot eyeliner up top. And then on below that, she has like a silvery blue eyeshadow. All right. Um, she has these beautiful, beautiful flowing eyelashes. All right, they do have the inside eye, so of course they're gonna have some nice rooted eyelashes. Her eyebrows are a nice kind of like dark brown. Um, they have a nice kind of faded gradient to them, so it's very pretty. Her lips are a nice nude color, and they have a little bit of like a wet lip kind of look, so I just love that. Um, yeah, she's just so, so pretty. All right, going down now to her jewelry. So she's wearing these beautiful earrings that are kind of like a translucent uh, light blue, all right? And they're kind of like a heart and they have a little bow at the top, all that, all right? Um, very, very pretty. Her necklace though, oh my God, this necklace is so pretty. So it's a, all right, so it's a light blue choker, all right? Um, and it has like three separate pieces that are kind of like a kind of like a circular kind of piece They're supposed to be I guess like a diamond or a gem The one in the front is the biggest and the two on the side are smaller and it just ooh, just totally works All right, and there's also like a white or like Yeah, I would say probably like a white wash Over the kind of outside of it to kind of give it a little more depth and detail and it just oh my god This looks so pretty. I love a choker and especially a nice like rich rich choker like that like sign me up girl all right, going down now to her, I guess we'll go to her jacket. So her jacket is this, oh my God, it's like so freaking beautiful. Um, oh, I forgot to actually take out the little, damn, damn. But I forgot to take out the little white, uh, that white, there's like a little white string that keeps her in place and everything, which is so hard to get out of the tail itself, but whatever. Um, but just to show you guys what I'm talking about, like those little white, yeah, you see those little white strings sticking out? Well, but anyways, ignore those. Her jacket is this beautiful, fluffy, light blue jacket with little tinsel pieces in it. And it's such a nice quality. Like it's like a nice, yeah, it does not feel like it's going to come apart. Like it's a very, very solid jacket. So I really give them uh, props on the quality of that. And it's just shorter right there because as you can see, she also has these beautiful little cuffs, like these lace gloves that are just so pretty and so cool and they have a little like bow on them and some little like sparkle details like girl what like she's hitting all the marks uh, she has so many things going on this is so pretty guys like she literally has so many things and she looks so glam oh my god i am so okay oh my god i'm like so obsessed with this one this doll is so freaking pretty she I'm not gonna lie, she might actually be my favorite of the line. Because like, I honestly just between the detail and the look of her, like she's just, she's serving everything that I love. Like, I don't know. Rainbow High, Bella Parker used to be like my favorite cause she gives that Chanel look. And I'm every, I love a Chanel tweed moment. Like, I don't know what it is, but there's something about Chanel tweed that just really just like, oh, it just like, it gets me feeling so like, oh. So I literally respect her for having that kind of same type of like, posh grandness <laughs> uh, I guess the best way I can put it um but yeah all right and then going to her top now all right so her top is this like sparkly pink strap kind of like it looks like even like a bralette or something with this giant pink bow in the front 
All right, that's very, very pretty and it's shiny and sparkly. So I love that. Um, nice little pop of color compared to like the blues that are all going on up top. Like it's like all blue and then bam with that pink. So really pretty. All right, below that, she has this awesome kind of, um, which it's interesting that it's here too, because it's like a, it looks like a collar, like the kind of like the, sh like, a, oh my God. It's just like one of those like fancy, I don't know, it's just a collar right there. It's just a collar. I don't know why I'm trying to like really go in depth with that. All right, it's kind of like a little kind of like collared fabric, little strap belt piece. Um, it's very pretty. It has a nice kind of quilted look to it and it has a nice little holographic shimmer as well. Um, it does Velcro in the back. All right, so we can like take it off. All right, and then below that, now if that wasn't even enough of an item to have around her waist, girl also wants to have a cute chain belt because girl, we know the Chanel is all about the chain belts. Um, so I'm all about that. All right, so her chain belt kind of says like, it's kind of like an abbreviation. I don't even know, it's, it's really not even an abbreviation. It's just like a shortened version of the word mermaid. All right, so M-R-M-D. All right, there's a little charm of a seashell right there. There's a little dangling piece right next to that. Um, so the seashell actually does dangle, all right? It's loosely put on there, but it doesn't really have a lot of room to move. So it really just, it kind of just stays in place for the most part. But still, oh my God, I love that. Like this girl just loves to wear just clothing items. Like she is the stylist. I love that. And she's definitely like a maximalist. Like she doesn't go for that simple fashion. She wants you to see every aspect of the things she can wear. She's a modern day Carrie Bradshaw, baby. So very cute. All right. Now going to her tail. All right, so like I was saying, I love a nice Chanel tweed moment, and I think that's what they were trying to go for with this. All right, so the tail is just absolutely stunning. So it's this beautiful salmon color with a nice little holographic sheen on it, as you can see. She has little kind of like button pocket pieces right there, right, sculpted on. And there's this beautiful like pearl trim detail work going all the way down into a nice little like buckle all right and then the tail even has a little zipper piece right there so i am just oh i am obsessed with this and honestly i don't even know how you're supposed to stand her okay yeah i don't think she can stand like that she'll definitely just fall over so i guess her tail still moves kind of like that personally i don't know how i feel necessarily about it only because like i don't like this kind of hollowness there like what the fuck like, you know what I mean? Like, like what the hell is that supposed to be? <laughs> like, she's gonna be like, Ugh. <laughs> like some little like fucking tongue or something's gonna like fling out at you or some shit. Um, but yeah, so she can stand. Oh God, I'm not gonna go over that. Can I put it back maybe? Oh, I guess you can put it back too. I guess that kind of works. Cool, cool. I, I mean, personally, I think that works better for me because like, I just, I really don't know how I feel about just that giant opening right there. Um. So yeah, so she can stand, which looks cool, which honestly is nice because her hair kind of weighs her down. So I guess it's nice to have more support in the back. Um, but still very gorgeous guys. Very, very gorgeous. Um, yeah. Oh my God. I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. Like she literally might be my favorite. All right. So enough of me talking. Let me pause this video and I'll be right back with a nice cold cup of water so we can check out their color change. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. And um, literally, I am having the hardest time getting my water to be cold enough um, to, to be able to, uh, I don't know. I'm just having such a hard time to get my water to actually get cold enough. But one thing I did do, I did um, realize is that like, if I get an ice cube and put it up to the doll, it'll help like change color. So I'm just gonna show you guys kind of like manually what it looks like, all right? So when I get my ice cube and I put it on her, ooh, it's not working as much as it was a moment ago. Okay, but as you can see, it turns like very blue, like very, very blue. All right. <laughs> I'm like, work, God damn it, work. Let me see, I'm just gonna like leave it on her tail and let it kind of just do its thing. But as you can see, I mean, it turns a very, very nice blue. Like, look at that, that is so pretty. So it is like a very nice, nice, strong, 
shade of blue. Um, you know, it's not light and the color is very beautiful. Um, I think that's like so cool though. Like these, d I, I give it to them. I give it to them for like, I mean, at the price point, $13.99, I understand that they really did put a lot of effort into actually the color change aspect of it because as you can see, that just turns so cool. Like, I just love that. I definitely, definitely love that. All right. So like even from far, you know, and the blue stays there for a little bit. Eventually it'll start to just kind of like fade out once it picks up on the room temperature. Oh my God, actually my finger is making it go right back to where it was. But all right, so hers is like all blue, pretty fun. And then with Miss Kishiko, for her, she is kind of the opposite. So when I put the ice cube on her, it changes her purple. Like, and that changes quick too. Like, the only thing is like with her is because um, her outfit is much more kind of um, like waving indented, the ice cube's not forming to it. So it's not really able to really get that full color change right off the get, like into all the little crevices. But here, I just wanna. Oh, wow, but okay, okay. Wow, hers is like definitely changing a lot. But as you can see, it turns into a really nice deep purple. So that is very cool. It's like a magenta almost, actually. So I love that. I really do love that. These dolls are fun. I'm not really into like the whole play aspect of um, these dolls. But, you know, people that are, I think that's a really fun little thing that you can kind of get out of these. Um, you know, I'm just happy with the way the tails look as is because uh, they're so stylish. Like, they are so stylish. Um, oh, and before I actually like end this review, I just totally forgot, but Chanel's bag, this is what it looks like. All right, so it's basically like a Chanel perfume bottle just with like a little strap and stuff, right? And then it says Chanel. They could have done a little more, I feel like with the sticker. I mean, I know Chanel has a really just simple, like just Chanel type of vibe thing going on, but I mean, just like the black and white and then just like Chanel, like that's it. Like, I don't know, the font and everything too, it just mm -mm, wasn't working for me. But still, perfume bottle bag, I like it. I like it. I can go with it. Cute, cute. But all right, guys, that is pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, but like the articulation. So like, yeah, they basically just have like all around articulation, you know, heads, arms, all that jazz. All right. Um, arms, 90 degree angle. All right. Tails, blah, blah, blah. And they can't necessarily sit. They, the closest they can get is probably like this. So, you know, nothing crazy, but you can make it do, make do with it. Um, but yeah. I'm obsessed. Guys, I definitely recommend these dolls. I think they're so, so pretty. Um, you know, uh, I am aware that there's the collector doll coming out, which, you know, the doll community is really up in arms about. Like, they are really ripping the mermaids dolls to shreds with that. Um, <laughs> I feel bad, but I mean, like, actually, I don't. Um, you know, I'm hoping that maybe that they look at that and maybe think otherwise at the price point at least, or maybe just kind of come out with maybe the doll just coming out as a doll and not necessarily a collector edition type of uh, uh, vibe to it. Because if that's what our collector dolls are gonna be looking like with mermaids, mermaids, I really don't think they should even consider them making collector then because it just doesn't make sense. Um, like girl, we don't even get any fabric clothes. Like what the hell? And you're gonna call that collector doll? Girl, and you're gonna give us some like Claire's knockoff fucking glitter gel? The fuck? Nah. Mm mm. Not be bitch. Nope. So, I don't know. But the doll itself is actually really pretty and everything, and the whole sculpted look actually is like really cute, but still, it's not like collector worthy. So don't even, for the extra fucking like $12, and you're gonna do that? No. Um, but okay. I knew back to this. Um, all right, guys, but that was Kishiko and Chanel. All right, these dolls are probably like my two faves of the line. Um, I'm super, super excited to open up the rest of them though. And honestly, Harmonique is just gorgeous. So yeah, I definitely recommend them. Check your stores. They're popping up in Walmarts. You know, if you don't really want to go searching, order them online. They're online with like two day shipping. So you can get them within like two days. All right. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up subscribe please subscribe because i got dolls to make reviews on and i like making reviews so 
yeah <laughs> leave a comment you know i like to answer your comments sometimes it's really fun all right and if you want to you can also share the video and if you're also inclined to check out my instagram nerdyboy95 which you know i post stuff about dolls put up po pictures about dolls put up memes it's a fun account check it out all right and that's nerdyboy95 with an i not a y and oh and i mean like i as in like boy shit I never even thought about that, and I've been saying that for a while, but it's nerdy, like, with a Y, but boy with an I, <laughs> and then 95. <laughs> but all right, guys, I will see you guys next time on Kev Collects. Peace. Bye.